Do you want to see the RV that turned the industry on its ear? You know, a few years ago, this RV hit the market with a splash and it turned the RV industry on its ear. Here, Ryan, just take a quick pan around. It's only 21 feet, five inches, and it's only 2,900 pounds dry. It is the Coleman Lantern LT-17B. You probably heard about the 17B. It is still one of the most affordable family bunkhouse RVs that you're gonna find on the market. And when they brought it out, Everybody said, wow, I don't have to upgrade from my family SUV to a big tow truck. Or if I had a midsize truck, I don't have to upgrade that. At less than 3,000 pounds dry, that might be towable. If you have questions about what your vehicle can tow, because I know that's probably what you're thinking right now, rv.campingworld.com or just bring your vehicle in. We'll check it. It's free. It's easy. Doesn't take any time at all. Let's start right back here with why you get a bunkhouse, the bunks. So right there in the rear off camp corner are going to be your twin bunks, or as we like to call them, single over single or twin over twin. You got good space for either an adult or kids. And the thing that I like about what they did this year, right here, if you got somebody that's a little bit taller on the top bunk, their feet can even hang off the edge over there. So like me being six foot two, plus I like to sprawl out for some reason, I become six foot nine when I sleep. And no matter what bed I have, my feet always hang off the edge like this. They're all splayed and stretched out like Stretch Armstrong. It also creates a little bit more airflow. But underneath, you got the bottom bunk and you even have some storage down there. And these are the Teddy Bear Bunk Series mattresses. Um, with these, sure, they, they are plush, they are comfortable. Get a mattress topper, you'll thank me later. Right behind that is going to be your rear bath. Now. Entry level RV, great price point, perfect for the first time RVer. You know, I mean, it's gonna be a little cramped in here. The skylight and the vent and fan right here do kind of give me a little bit more headroom, but it's gonna be a little bit cramped in here. Uh, but you got a shower. You do have a shower in an RV. You got a high rise plastic bowl with a foot flush. You got a hanger for towels or for like a bathrobe. Um, you still get upgraded linoleum flooring. You get 28 gallon tanks all the way across the board, 28 gallon fresh, gray and black. You're pre-wired for solar. So if you've been tent camping and you're like, you know what? We're actually ready to maybe extend that camping season a little bit, or the elements, we're tired of wanting to go someplace, but the elements might keep us from really enjoying the experience. You come in here, you got a kitchen, you got a sink, you got prep space, think to the countertop. You're not gonna cut yourself on the rounded edges, which is very nice. And you got storage, thanks to the frosted glass inlay in the cabinets here. And you got good 74 inch high ceilings in here too. So two burner cooktop, solid wood construction on your drawers, matte black pulls, full extension drawer guides, and you even got a 3.3 cubic foot 12 volt fridge freezer combo that since it's 12 volt will run while you're going down the road off your vehicle's battery. And you got the high point microwave right here, 0.9 cubic foot on that. But to give you some heat, check me out. Electric fireplace. Yeah, in this price point, in this size, in this weight, you get an electric fireplace with multi-flame setting, multi-light setting. This is your heater for this unit. You got about 5,000 BTUs of heat. And in a space like this, that blower does a good job of not only knocking the chill off the air, but in this confined space, the circulation of heat will do a really good job. Now granted, you don't wanna go you know, to Buffalo in the winter, but Using some common sense, testing it out, and seeing, okay, what are your thresholds for cold and for heat? Use your best judgment on when and where to take your Coleman 17B. And if you're laying in the bunk, or if you're laying in the master, you even got the little handy dandy remote right here that will control your fireplace. How cool is that? Do you have remote heat in your home? I didn't think so, because I don't. And then right here, when you're ready to enjoy those camp cook meals, plush and comfortable. They're overstuffed cushions. I like how they do this every year. They seem to get thicker. You got a window right here for cross breeze, pleated shade to get you some light dampening, wood balance that's decorative, uh, and a table 
that if you want to take it outside, you can take it outside, but it also reduces down as your sleeper for this area right here where you could get one adult, maybe a couple of kids, definitely a dog, um, but probably not two adults because of the space confinement. But you even got more storage up top, more frosted glass inlay, got the grayish colored cabinetry. So Coleman has been building campers for 60 years. I mean, they, they know what they're doing and they listen to your feedback. The things that you like, they try to give you. Over here, you'll see that we have our command panel. You got your hot water heater here, uh, your water pump for when you're not plugged into camp water or city water, and you can also check all your battery and your tanks uh, right there as well as run out the awning. I like too how they turned the switch. Last year, the switch was up and down. It's just a little, it's a little change for me that'll make this easier to operate. It goes out, it goes in. And last but not least, we got our queen size bed, AKA your master. Now I do have storage under here as well. I got a storage lip up there. I got a power outlet there. I got a decorative front cap right here. Kind of looks like a whitewash barn decor. And I got my TV mount, my power and my wine guard boosted signal that's actually a pretty cool service if you're going to go camping you need to extend 4g lte or wi-fi this is pre-wired for the wine guard boosting awesome little service to get add that on when you buy your rv also get tire pressure monitoring and get a weight distribution hitch sure this this coach is only three thousand pounds chris we don't need it have you ever been going down the road pulling the travel trailer when a semi comes beside you and all of a sudden that thing starts fishtailing on you i don't want that happening to you Right there is going to be our storage. I threw my bag in there just because. I mean, 21 feet, 5 inches, 2,900 pounds. Even got a little storage cabinet here, too. That's a great spot for a trash can. 21 feet, 5 inches, 2,900 pounds. Can sleep up to 5. It's no wonder it is the most popular family RV on the planet, right? Right. So, you can pick it up today. And by the way, leave me some comments down below. Click like, subscribe, and notify. Let me know what you think of the 17B. Where are you going to take it? Uh, but before we cap it, what do you say we go outside and take a look at just what's out there? So you can enjoy the campsite. Come on. So here we are on the outside of the all-new Coleman Lantern LT-17B quite possibly the most popular and best-selling travel trailer that I think has ever been. At least in my life, because I've only been alive for 27 years, this is probably it. You're looking at 21 feet, five inches, 2,900 pounds dry. What does that mean when it's less than 3,000 pounds? You don't need to upgrade your vehicle. So let's check out what we got. Up front, you're gonna see you got your manual tongue jack right here, 20 pound LP tank, and you got the plug-in for the Zamp Solar right behind your battery bars. Here's two things I would do to upgrade this unit. Go ahead, when you purchase this bad boy, get an additional 20 pound LP tank or get some 30s, whatever you feel is gonna be right for you. But also get the briefcase solar packs. That's gonna trickle charge your battery and extend that longevity of your 17B. The battery's on it anyway. Over here, you're gonna see you got a magnetic clasp for your storage compartment. Good space in here for like the bag chairs or like, you know, maybe, uh, you know, just some additional equipment, whatever you need to put in there to have outside. At this price point, to be able to have a power awning is extremely nice. So you see that right here over the campsite entry. You got power if you want to plug in cell phone, boombox, whatever. <clears throat> GFCI outlet right there. Steel step. You do have a steel rim on that 14-inch tire. And the thing I like about what they did, even with the 17B, hopefully you could hear that. That is a galvanized wheel well. For an entry-level RV, I mean... To be able to protect the undercarriage is extremely important because as you're going down the road, this is where stuff is going to be flying up and hitting the undercarriage. Protecting that coach with a galvanized wheel well is a very nice touch. Sealed safety windows all the way around. This is the back of your hot water heater right there. If you don't have hot water, just try to clean the flash tube that's in there with like a Q-tip or pipe cleaner. Pipe cleaners are great to take with you when you're camping. They're extremely versatile. Rear stabilizer jacks on both sides here. 4x4 sewer hose storage. You'll see that we are set up for backup camera as well. 
And then here on the off camp side is going to be your main terminations. Now, remember, like I mentioned on the inside, you got 28s all across the board, 28 fresh, 28 gray and black. Your dumps right there. Handles correspond with the colors. Back of our 5000 BTU AC, fresh water fill, a city water connection, and of course, the info panel right there. I mean, it was so popular when it first came out, the 17B, that it really changed RVing. It got people a chance to get out and really experience how great RVing can be. I'm actually thankful for the 17B for doing that. If you have not experienced camping and you're saying, we want a chance to get out, we want to go to the beach, we want to go to the mountains, we don't want to buy a timeshare, we don't want to travel, we don't want to fly, but we also don't want to upgrade our tow vehicle. I got a decent SUV, I got a decent truck. Number one, rv.campingworld.com. Check out the towing guide or bring your vehicle into Camping World. We'll check it out for you, free, it's easy, it doesn't take long. This right here is your shot to take the family on those vacations you've been wanting to do. And with all the amazing financing terms that we have, if you don't want to pay cash, we got great financing rates, come get it. 21 feet, five inches, 2,900 pounds, can sleep up to five. You're looking at the most popular, most awesome RV that has been around in a hot minute, the Coleman Lantern 17B. Leave me some comments down below and let me know what you like about it, what you not like about it. More importantly, where are you going to take it? Where would you like to take it? What changes would you like to see? Coleman loves listening to you, so leave me some comments and let me know. And please, click like, subscribe, and notify so the next time we do this, you're the first one to get it. Thank you for joining me for the 17B. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you picked up some good stuff. And more importantly, I hope you get a chance to come in and check it out, man. I want to hear from you. I'll see you soon. Enjoy.